Sinvicta, hello. Northern Lion, hello. We're back. A dinosaur we story. Yep. You ever watched I, that? I uh, never saw that, but, you know, I'll take your word for it. I don't <laughs> Whatever really think you... you're missing out, honestly. I think it's one of those movies <laughs> you see when you're a kid, then you just, for the rest of your life, you're like, that was pretty good. But if you watch it as an adult, you'd be like, that's garbage. Like Land Before Time. Yeah, fair. Although I think that might be a classic, like all time classic. The first one, yeah. Yes, yeah. The subsequent the, the, seventy. The Little Foot Adventures or whatever they whatever the non canon series is. No one cares about that. Yeah. Until Just they the bring first. them into Marvel. Yes, yeah. And then, then everyone cares. And then when they eventually inevitably get dropped, everyone stops caring again. It's ten nine, we think. Let's yep. see how things go. Three, all right. two, one, good luck. Good luck, have fun. Uh Definitely going to need a stat checker on Monday's game because I, I think that that might have been combined our best game, our best round of Duke Guesser ever. It wouldn't surprise me. <clears throat> I mean, we we hit over twenty five k. Yeah. Or sorry, fifty k yeah, between yeah. the two of us. Almost. Well, I mean that's that's we were insane. Close at least. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I know. I was already thinking this area, but the road sign confirms it. I think. I th should really just like spend some time in both Australia and South Africa. I end up in a lot of confusing situations just from not recognizing which one's which. Right. Like I'm pretty sure that this means it's gotta be this one. What country do you what country do you think it is? I don't want to tell I, you because I'm embarrassed. Well, I can I can tell you I know what country it is. Really? So I won't make fun of your of your guess either way. What country do you think it is? <laughs> you want to say it on three, and we'll <laughs> that way we're not sussing each other out here. I'm looking for the road if it makes you feel better. No, I mean that obviously makes me feel worse. Okay. <laughs> All I know is they call it petrol here. Yep. I gotta assume that this is Australia at this point. Um. Just seeing how you reacted to that. Or, oh, no, I'm still looking for the rune. Welcome to... That can't be Australian. Atlanta, where the players play. <laughs> Come on and raise up. Yeah, take a shirt off, twist it around your head. It's been like a helicopter. Dude, Didi Pablo was... That That was his one and only banger, but man, was a, he talked about bangers. I Fantastic never, song. honestly, didn't hear the song for the first time until, like, within the past year. I'm so upset you still haven't gone and listened to um, Hit uh, hit, hit Him High and Hit Him Low off the Space Jam soundtrack. I'm telling you, you were missing out on a great track. I will like, never go back and listen to the Space Jam soundtrack as a 30-year-old man. You don't have to listen to the soundtrack. Just listen to the one song. You are missing out on an actual banger. It's like telling it's me not... there's an actual banger on like the Wild Wild West soundtrack. I just disbelieve it. That might not you're, be you're, fair, but you're you're doing yourself a dis uh, a disservice because it is a good it's an actual legit good hip hop song. Dude, I cannot find. Okay, we're getting. Oh no. This one is threatening to be over before it even starts. I'm getting closer to the number for the road, but I just can't find the actual number. Everything is written in Australian font. Yep. But it screams South Africa to me. Yep. But they're using the, the font of Australia. You know what I mean? <laughs> Are you talking about on the road sign? I didn't know that we had we had region specific fonts. Okay, three, two, one. It's South Africa. <laughs> I I finally found something. I found okay. like a crest with what appear to be the flag of the. I wasn't the country. I wasn't gonna say anything, but yes. I'm telling South you, Africa. dude. They were using the Australian font. <laughs> I love how he says it after we've. Confirmed that we're in South Africa. They, whether it was in South Africa or not, they were using an Australian font. My, by the way, my viewers, I apologize that I've literally just been looking for this road the entire time. I still haven't found it, by the way. Oh, oh, oh! I did. Let's see. Was that south? Ah, ah! <laughs> I could have gone a little bit higher. I can live with that. 
I got you by 700, well, 600 and, yeah, 686 Honestly, points. It's very fair, considering how lost I was. <laughs> well, okay. I mean, this one's I mean look, I, I ain't going to, we're, we're not going to hold each other's hands here, but. Oh, uh, of course. You know, Straben, Straben Shadden. I'll tell you. And Nuremberg. Just scroll into the city and then look for the Bratwurst Rolls line. Oh, yeah. I, just, I didn't have to scroll. I just turn around. But now, which city are we in? Though? Oh, I, I think I know. Do you know? Yes. Okay. We're in Paris. I guess, you know, honestly, just to spend some time exploring. What's it like... Uh, What's like life like here? I want to find like. Well, first off, what? Okay, someone, someone who knows, let me know in the comments in either one of our comment section. Uh, what is Hyuga Jin? Eh, go ahead and guess. That was probably not pronounced <laughs> perfectly. <laughs> Yo, they got a Zara's here? <laughs> they got everything. Uh, Chong's Diner. Yep. Hop's giving the jump from the L Wald. <laughs> oh, I just we're just not allowed to look at that building, huh? Okay. <laughs> like, there's only there is only because we've we've been told time and time again. There's only a certain region of this country that yeah. is that is accessible by Google due to privacy laws. Yeah. So whenever we get to Germany, it like it makes it pretty easy. Yeah, it's just a matter of how much you wanna you wanna look around. Einbahnstrab. Please stop showing me. Museums. I just want to see banks. <laughs> it's no yeah. matter what language you're in, there's like a 90% chance that bank is either like bank or like bonkin or bonkner. It's just like, show me. I don't need the Musee, the Autoplatz. You know, I don't, I don't know what it is. <laughs> I, need, I need to see like German bank. That's all it takes. Parkhouse Jacob Smart. You know, I gotta say, just I, I'm. This is again just another one of my weird, uh, weird uh, observations. But I can't help but notice how there is no litter anywhere. Oh, dude. I'm. You know, I, I sure I it's mean, like a not. grass is always greener on the other side, sort of situation. But yeah, when I. I've never been to mainland Europe, including Germany, except the airport. Whenever I see, like, you know, Germany or or France in, or or Belgium for that matter, in GeoGuessr, it's like I think people here just treat their surroundings better. Mm -hmm. I feel like there's a large contingent of people in North America that are just like, whatever, dude. Yeah, we don't have to treat it nice because we got nice things everywhere. Throw your trash out the window on the highway, you know. Yeah, like, somebody to clean it up. It's their job. So it was. I mean, I'm just gonna guess because I. Yeah. Basically, I'm, whatever. I'm looking for the. I'm looking for the Mexican restaurant, but yeah, you, I'll go with you. But uh, like, I was in the gym today, and uh, you know, somebody had set up like the deadlift platform, and then there's mm -hmm. just like literally eight to twelve plates around it. And oh, I hate that. The bar itself had ten pounds on each side. And yep. then, like, I went over to the rack, and the rack, there, the rates, the, the weights had been like twenty five percent re racked, like just the top little, you know, because it's shaped, it's yeah, got like yeah, a spoke. Yeah. Just the spoke yeah. is through the hole, and they're all in disarray. And I'm just like, I'm just embarrassed for you. Like, you're you're yep. a, you're an adult. Just clean up after yourself. Yep, those are the uh, those are the worst. I already guessed, by the way, but oh, those same. are the uh, those are the worst kind of. Uh, gym goers the ones who like they leave like i hate i hate seeing the dudes who they start throwing up the 45s on like yeah. squat rack or the bench or whatever and then like they do one rep of 315 which is three plates on each side yeah and then they just 
they've just put them back. Like, they don't rack the weights. They just did that just so to show, oh, yeah, this is my bench. That's why I rep. <laughs> That's a pretty solid <laughs> bench, to be fair. But I, uh, Ooh, 315s. It's, it's a little bit ahead of me, I'll tell you that much. But, uh, <laughs> you know, just re-rack it. Yeah. I take pride in re-racking it. It's like I left enough in the tank that I can actually clean up after myself because I'm not the only human being that matters here. As someone who worked in a gym at one time, I could tell you that re-racking everything, and whenever I saw someone not racking it, and, I, and we weren't allowed to call people out on it either. Oh, yeah, they're your lifeblood, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this definitely... All right. Pharmaceutical, Pokemon, or last name, famous last name. Is this one? A groupin or whatever? Yes, yeah. absolutely Pokemon. Yeah, it's a Gen 5 Pokemon for sure. Yeah. Like, I, I start to have, like, these twisted fantasies where, like, there's oh. there's cameras <laughs> in the gym, and I'm like, I got to go talk to security and be like, hey, I think somebody uh, stole my watch in the gym. Can you go to the last person to use the squat rack? And then I, you know, see who it is, and then I put their picture up with a note that says, like, hey, this <laughs> jerk doesn't clean up his weights. He's a big baby. Wah, wah, wah. My mom cleans up everything for him. And then he gets so embarrassed that he just leaves. Yeah. And everyone claps when I walk into the gym. They go, the hero of the gym is here. Yeah. <laughs> you know what that sounds like? That sounds like those the, one of those cringe compilations of people who are obviously lying. When they're like, <laughs> uh, like the, the guy who's the UCL post that someone like said, yeah, uh, this old lady wouldn't move my wouldn't move her bag to let this this nursing mother sit down <laughs> on the bus. So I called her out on it and everyone stood up and clapped for me. Yeah. And the bus driver gave me a free bus pass for next week. Yeah. It's like, it's okay. All right, freaking Cinderella over I here. I love reading those. Yeah, they're great. The, but then the, the, I, I still believe that, like, because that has helped turn the internet just a little bit more cynical, sometimes I tell stories and chat goes, that didn't happen. And I'm like, it happened. But the stories are much more like, like one time I got yelled at on the bus, and the bus, uh, it, I mean, it's a long story. I can see why it would not be considered that likely to have happened. But basically... I was on the bus, and the bus got clipped by a drunk driver. Right behind the drunk driver was a police officer. So the bus had to pull over because it needed, like, to be examined to make sure it was still safe. And the driver was having a breathalyzer test right next to it. Um, okay. Anyway, that's ancillary, but a little unbelievable, I'll admit. Unlike Right. It. Um, we all piled back onto the bus when, once it was deemed safe to continue. And I, you know, I was one of the last people on. I sat in the front seats, which are... Uh, not reserved, but they're priority seats for the elderly and people with, like, you know, mobility problems and stuff. And then some dude at the back yelled at me and said, you're not handicapped. And then I just <laughs> kind of looked at him. Yeah. And then he said, you're not handicapped, are you? You. And then he dropped an anti-gay slur. Okay. And then he just yelled at me for, like, the rest of the ride. Like, it was like another 25 minutes until I got off of my stop. And there are people that are like, that didn't happen. And I'm like, I wish, brother. Man, I don't... Everyone's going to be a Billy Badass in that situation, in their own minds, of course. But, like... I just put my headphones in. Yeah, I mean, that's... <laughs> unless the unless the dude starts throwing something at me... Or, or, by the way, I have no clue where we're at. I'm I think just, I know I the country. A, that's it, though. Uh, I was way off. Yeah. yeah. I had... At, I had nothing to go off of. Honestly, I I saw a sign. This should make you mad. I saw a sign in the final 20 seconds that said Sao Paulo, 250 kilometers away. <laughs> Were it not for that, I was lost. So I, I did beat you by 3,800. Uh, that's, a, that's a rough rough finish, I have to admit. I would, like the And the camera was fighting with me the entire time. I'd click forward and I'd move backwards. Nah, you know, excuses. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, go watch my point of view. I was sitting there fighting <laughs> just, with a freaking. Just, yeah, that happened. <laughs> yeah, and then I clicked forward, but I actually went backwards. <laughs> it's crazy. I do. Uh, I, I feel like when I watch streams, I do find myself saying that a lot, though. When people are like, "Bro, I jumped! I jumped!" <laughs> and then sometimes nope. I'm like, "Yo, I jumped." Obviously, obviously you didn't, but I mean. Horse Land. rental. Land of seals, 600 meters away. Land of seals? Land of seals. 
Now that your rose is on. <laughs> Seals. So Seals. we're in like the Arctic, or is this like a trick? It's like a, it's an aquarium, but they call it the land of seals. I mean, like I saw, I need to see if I can, th this is, I have a feeling this is the only name I'm going to be able to see. Although I didn't see the land of seals. I see horse rentals. Okay. Well, no, that's still the same. Okay. That right there says this. 100%. Yeah, I think I'm I think I know the country for sure. Like, and I it doesn't surprise me that there might be seals here. Yes. But then you got me you got me tripped up, brother, with this horse rental stuff. It says horse rental and it's a unicorn. And I don't know what kind of connotation you're thinking of, but the one I'm thinking of worries me. Well, there's a couple of the, the language, I think we can all, both admit, is in the Nordic family. Yes. If if you don't know. Okay, this is what I was actually going to say. I was in the wrong country. For sure. And then when, I, when you say a horse rental, I started to think. And I was like, that feels more like this country. And it Man, was. If you, if you, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm already dead in the water anyway, but like... If you don't, if you don't, if you think it's, you're a hundred percent sold on the on the country now, w without a shadow of a doubt, because the ending part of this city says this country. I, I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent on the country yet, but like I was already kind of thinking over here, but maybe I, I don't, I don't know. There is information available. Okay. That will make this. I let me. You'll you'll find it if you find it. If that makes okay. sense. Okay. I don't I don't remember which direction I went though. I think I went that way, so I'm gonna go this way. I gotta I gotta hurry though. Yeah, and I gotta. I'm I'm scouring for roads. <laughs> Road, you mean? Yes. <laughs> okay. It it has it has to be this country. I'll, yeah, I'll tell you again. I am 100%. So I basically, like, I leave it up to, to you if you would like to reveal and have me react. Is this that name that I saw but, in, but spelled differently? I, I'm not going to be able to. I, I have 16 seconds left. There's no way I'm going to be able to find this city. If I'm, I don't even, I still don't know. I mean, we, we have to be in this country. There's no way that we're not. Uh, I'm, I'm going to put it here just because it's, it's kind of where I was seeing. Although, well, no, there's no ocean here. It doesn't matter. Nope. Hey! What's that? I mean, I, I, I had an, I did have it in Iceland. Thank okay. God. But I mean, I saw that. On, so on the horse rental sign, I saw it said horse rentals on a mm. black and white unicorn, and then there was a, there was a city there that ended with Yuri. Okay, yeah. like like Akari. why? Yeah, and <laughs> and I was like that the Y the Y R I or at least what looks like Y R I is always almost always Icelandic. Yeah, but as far as finding that city that began with a G, I got no clue, brother, because it wasn't even it's not I'm oh wait no there it is it's apparently it's a hotel. I guess. <laughs> well, that's the reason why I couldn't find the city. <laughs> uh, well, but, this this next one's a, a trip, huh? I gotta give that one five stars just because we had everything we needed. So, plus, it's really exciting and unique to be in uh, Iceland. Yeah, I, I love Iceland. I, I, I want to go someday. It's nice. I feel like we have this conversation every other week in this series. We do, <laughs> and then we talk about the the museum that uh, Bear went and saw. Oh yeah. I mean, I, I think Iceland is, like, it's a really good, like, pseudo-exotic trip. Because it's people there speak English, so you don't have to learn any special skills to go. Um, they freaking love metal. And, yeah, they, they do have a metal culture, I suppose. Um, food's We're really in good. Iceland again. But then what everybody, yeah. <laughs> everybody, says, everybody says the same thing. It is expensive. Yeah, that's what I hear. I mean, I'm, I'm not trying to name drop. You could name drop 
way more than I ever could. I, so I, I would I, I wouldn't even start trying to flex like that. I don't know but anybody. but I am friends with a, a couple of the CCT uh, employees who work on Eve Online because oh, I love yeah, yeah. I freaking love that game. And uh, they I hear about how expensive Iceland is a lot. Well, I, I actually this is bizarre, but I looked it up today in an Isaac episode. And because okay. uh, I was I was talking about, you know, like the difference between Iceland and Greenland. And uh, I looked up minimum wage in Iceland and it's like twenty five hundred dollars uh, a month minimum wage. Wow. So, you know, if you work at Subway, which there's one in Reykjavik is like, uh, you know, you're still making like, I don't know, close like, to 30 grand American. a year. Yeah. So and then when guess, you go to more. Subway, you're like, oh, the sandwich is like twenty one dollars. Yeah, that, that <laughs> makes like sense. 40 bucks. Can I I'm going to hit you with something that's going to make you laugh. Yes. Uh, this is actually basically where we went to my friend's wedding in Iceland. To the extent that I think we might have driven this road. I mean, because it's the road. Really? But also, like, I think we might have been <laughs> at this that. sign that I'm looking at right now. It would not surprise me. Like, I, I feel like our, our mutual friend Corey might have stayed at this place right here. At the Hotel Ranga. Yes. <laughs> okay. You know, I'm actually mad at myself. I don't know why I moved so far so far south. Well, I, I guess, by the way. You, oh, sure. Yeah, I mean, I can guess, too. The only thing that separated us more or less on this is uh, that the South American guess where nobody knew anything. Yes. Well, until you saw a sign that said freaking Sao Paulo... <laughs> oh no! This is where Corey stayed. See, you see that there's a town Hella up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They well, it's called Hecla, but Hecla is named after this volcano that's there. But yeah, this is like, this is where we stayed. Was it hella cool? You do? I mean, it was. They they had one taxi driver and he was on vacation. That part was not <laughs> that cool. But I'm like, dude, you know what? That that hotel Ranga. Yeah. I think that's where we stayed. <laughs> there's, there's, there's a Hotel Hella. There's a guest house, Noni. Hotel Hella was a little sketchy. Strata. I'm pretty sure we we stayed at Hotel Ranga. This looks right. I it's cannot. The, yeah, the me. only four star resort in southern Iceland. Don't it, we weren't trying to flex, but they were getting married, so it's like they wanted it at a nice place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, dude, that's wild. Well, Northern Lion widens the gap yet again. And uh, I gotta say, well deserved. You 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 are known for finding more information than I because I get distracted easily. Yeah, but dude, like, or I go in the wrong direction. Literally, they popped us down at the small town in Iceland where I was less than a year ago. Like, you can't <laughs> you can't plan for that. Well, no, but I'm talking about the I'm talking about the South American guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's fair. The South, because I guess I I must have gone in the wrong direction because I didn't see. I obviously didn't see it. I mean, had I seen it, it's not like, oh, I'm just going to guess Panama, Colombia around there. Yeah. Because I just no, wasn't I sure. But, uh, yeah. Well done. Well done, Northern Lion. Goes back up. Uh, we're at 20 games now. So. Yeah. Whatever 11. I think it's 11-9 now. 11-9. Yeah. <laughs> Either way, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. And, of course, uh, Subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Check out Multiple Perspectives. We'll see you next time. See you later.